two-in-one products. I have mentioned this in the past. I'm not going to stop mentioning this because two-in-one products is not just a minimalist life hack, but it is a huge budget life hack. The two-in-one products I use are my face wash. My face wash is also good for makeup remover. So when I do decide to wear makeup, I'm not wearing any today, just lipstick. But even with this lipstick, it comes right off with my regular face wash. It's one less thing that I need to buy. So I don't need to buy a makeup remover and a face wash. I just have it in one product, which is a huge money saver, space saver. It is all around a perfect life hack. Borrowing instead of buying a new item or used item. If money is tight and you know a friend or a family member that has that one item that you would like to purchase but you don't want to keep it necessarily, you can always borrow it. You can ask to borrow it. Obviously, you want to make sure that you don't ruin that item. So I guess it's like a side note. Whatever you borrow from others, take care of it. Because if you don't, you will end up having to replace that item, which defeats the purpose of borrowing. So when it comes to borrowing, I used to borrow clothes from my sisters when we lived closer together. Um, they used to borrow clothes from me and they used to borrow my camera to take pictures of her kid. Well, my sister, one of my sisters have kids. She used to borrow this camera to take pictures so she don't have to pay to go to a professional place to take pictures. So many things that I have borrowed, they have borrowed and we all have saved each other an enormous amount of money and also space in our homes. So if you do not need an item in your house permanently, but you just need that one item for that one occasion, ask around. You will be surprised at what family member or friend has that same item that you're looking for and you can just return it at the end of the night or the next day. The good old fashioned herb trick. So when you buy scallions or when you buy certain herbs, you don't have to just use them that one time and throw those roots out. They'll regrow themselves three or four more times before going bad. So you can get your money's well worth. So if you buy scallions, you know, a pack of scallions for say $2, you can chop them down to the end of the root part, put the roots in a mason jar or whatever you have, put them in a cup of water, and you will be amazed <laughs> that you'll have scallions again and again and again. Over time, it does start to stink, so you do want to start over, but I would say that scallions regrow themselves every three to four times. If you are just unsure if an herb that you purchase can regrow themselves in just water, you can always Google it. That's what helped me in the past. And the same thing with herbs, monsteras, pothos, um, you know, those little lengthy ivy plants can grow in water as well. So I'll show you guys really quick, but it, it doesn't take any like green thumb. All you do is you just cut a snip off of the monstera and you will have roots, like crazy amount of roots growing. Obviously I change the water every Friday and she's been in here for about, I wanna say like two months now, ton of roots, and this is a whole entire plant. So that's another trick, not just herbs, but plants do the same thing. So you can re-gift a plant for the holidays, like over and over again. Like I feel like monsteras, pothos, snake plants, those are the plants that just keep giving. So this could be a wonderful gift for somebody. So yes, the best life hack that I have learned when it came to plants is to grow things in just water. You get your money's well worth pillowcase trick. This is very frugal and believe it or not, I didn't know about this. Kind of common sense, but I know some people don't know like I didn't know. Um, when it comes to pillowcases, if you do not change your pillowcases, you will break out. Well, if you have acne prone skin, you will break out. And over time, they start to stink. So back then, I used to change my pillowcases like every day or every two days. But what I should have done was use one side of the pillow for two days, flip it over and use the other side for two more days. So that's four days with the same pillowcase, but you're not using the same side, the same dirty side. So it is a random little hack, but it has helped me so much. And the best thing for me to do when it came to budgeting and not swapping out my pillows all the time, because the videos I used to watch on YouTube with dermatologists and people that weren't even dermatologists, like the skincare gurus, they were saying to switch out your pillowcase every day or two days. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have money to be purchasing pillowcases like that. And we don't have a washer and dryer, so we share it with everybody in the building, in the hallway. Yeah, it costs us a lot of money to just constantly keep washing pillowcases. So the best hack was use one side for two days, flip it over, and use the other side 
for two more days. I know it's random, but it does help a lot. Shiny, healthy nails without polish. I'm always on the hunt for reusable products that will last you years and years and years. Again, one less thing to purchase. This is the best life hack ever. Get yourself a glass nail filer. So it's cheap, it's healthy, it's reusable. I remember I used to use the Shine nail polish back in the day. And after the third or fourth day, it would peel. It would like just peel off. No matter what brand I use, no matter how expensive the nail polish was, the clear polish would always just peel off. Like, you know when you put glue on your skin and you peel it? That's how the Shine nail polish would do to my nails. Well, that's what it would do to my nails back then. And with this glass filer, it just buffs out your nails. All you really have to do is use it once a month. One less thing you need to buy. It's an amazing life hack. Even if you are not a minimalist, it's just nice to have a reusable filer in the house so you don't keep spending money on filers, especially the ones at the Dollar Tree that come in a pack of like 20. Total waste of money. And the only thing you can really do with those is file your nails. You can't really shine them. So two in one products again, work great. Shave with sweet almond oil or your regular conditioner. So I used to use my regular conditioner for my legs for a long time until I realized I was going through it a little bit too much. And then I switched over to sweet almond oil, which works better for my sensitive skin. I do have KP, so sweet almond oil kind of calms that down and a little bit goes a long way. I have the same bottle in the shower that I've been using for almost a year. And I shave once every two weeks. It works great. It keeps my skin so soft. So I think this life hack is amazing. I know some of you guys were telling me, Kara, shaving cream works best. That's what it's for. I have tried shaving cream. I've tried sensitive skin shaving cream and they're expensive. They don't last as long and none of them work. And I think the best, best thing when it comes to shaving is oil, almond oil. Um, there's other oils. I think um, Yohoba oil works well. I haven't tried those other oils out because I still have my almond oil. So once when that one's gone, I will try out another oil for you guys to give you my um, review on it to see if it works just as good as a sweet almond oil. I know for me, my legs feel and look amazing than when I was using shaving cream. And like I said, it is 10 times cheaper than your traditional shaving cream and it lasts way longer. And you don't just have to use it for your legs or for shaving. You can use almond oil as a hair mask, which I use it on my length for my hair as a hair mask once a month as well. Durable phone case that can last you forever. I swear by having a durable case, you guys, rather than having a cute little fancy case. Those cute cases do absolutely nothing for your phone and nothing for your budget. I have been there with my iPhone 6 Plus. That phone had more outfit changes than me and it's a material item. So it just didn't make sense to make my phone look cute. So the best thing that you can do for your tech gadgets is to purchase durable cases, not the cute ones, heavy duty cases. You never know. Maybe one day that you go outside and you drop your phone. You do not want to have to purchase another phone. Like, like these tech gadgets are not going down in price. The iPhones, laptops, everything is so expensive. And again, the best thing you can do is to protect them. So you can protect your wallet. <laughs> so you don't have to keep spending money on these items. So I know they're not going to look the cutest. It is going to save you money, which I think is a lot cuter than having your phone look cuter. So saving money is cute. Saving no money is not cute. <laughs> and the last minimalist life hack is the oldest one in the game, and that is to live below your means. I think most of us know this, but most of us don't do this. And, you know, for a little example, I have dealt with people, I've seen people make more money the minute they get a raise, they spend more. And you're kind of in the same predicament where you're not making enough because you're spending the extra that you're making. So for me, you guys, most of you know that I don't make a lot with YouTube, 14 to 1600, sometimes less than that. And how I am able to live comfortable and live a little bit stress-free with making less money is to live below my means. I do not go out and spend money I do not have. The money I have in savings is for emergencies and for a down payment on a house. Like I have goals with the money that is coming in. And if you do not have goals for the money that's coming in or for your raise that you got, you're most likely to spend it on stupid 
things. If you are due for a raise soon, um, the holidays are, are right around the corner, keep in mind that living below your means can help you in the long run. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be frugal 24 seven, but it's good to be aware of your expenses, your income, what you're saving, especially if you are in your 30s, late 20s, 40s. You want to make sure you know where your money is going to because things are not going down in price like i said not just with tech gadgets but with food with everything everything is just so expensive right now with inflation and it's best to have extra money saved because you never know when you're going to need that for an emergency if you guys want me to do a whole separate video on how i live below my means let me know down below i haven't done an updated version of this since 2017. last time i spoke about this was when I only had my minimum wage job and I'm technically making the same as a minimum wage job again. So if you want me to do an updated version on how I'm living below my means, let me know down below. On that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Let me know down below what is your favorite minimalist life hack. <laughs>